<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video I'm going to be showing you all how you can change the color that is displayed for your Joy-Con through software on your Switch. Well, technically this is going to require your PC, but this is what I'm talking about. If you're on your Switch and you have a pair of Joy-Con hooked up, go down to the controllers, and if you look right here, I have two gray Joy-Con set up. However, I've actually just recently changed the colors on my Joy-Cons, at least physically. I have reshelled these to white, so I'm wanting to change that. Unfortunately, you cannot change the colors on the Switch directly. It is going to require a program on PC. So with that, we're going to need a pair of Joy-Con. We're also going to need our PC to download an application, and we're going to need a method of hooking up our Joy-Cons to our PC, which will be Bluetooth. If you have a laptop, you might have Bluetooth already built in. However, if you're using a desktop, you might have to go out and purchase a Bluetooth dongle. Without further ado, let's go ahead and move over to the PC and get this all set up. All right, so now that we're over at the PC, first of all, you're going to need Joy-Con Toolkit. Now, there is another place we need to download it from, and it will be linked here, but I'm going to link the GBA Temp post because it has a lot of really great information here uh, that you can read through, certainly, if you want to, and I'd recommend just at least skimming this. But also, the important thing is going to be there are a few prerequisites which you can download if need be. I'd recommend giving this a try first though. And of course the download will be right here. When you click download, it's going to bring you to the latest release on GitHub in which you can just go down and download the Joy-Con Toolkit zip archive. The next thing we're going to need if you do not have Bluetooth already built into the computer you're using is a USB Bluetooth adapter. Now these can vary in price. As you can see on Amazon, they're anywhere between 10 and $20 USD. On eBay, they're cheaper here. And on AliExpress, I'd say they're the cheapest depending on which one you are buying. You really just need something basic like this that will just be a USB device which is capable of pairing with Bluetooth on your computer. That's about all you need. Links for all of these will be down below in the description if you want to grab one. Either way, once we have the Joy-Con toolkit, you just need to right click and extract it using whatever extraction software you're using into its own folder. And here we go, we have the Joy-Con toolkit folder. And you're going to see this JC tool underscore version number dot exe. If you double click this here, you might get a connection error and it's going to tell you how to pair your Joy Cons to your computer. So if you have a Bluetooth device or you have Bluetooth enabled on your PC or disabled, you have to plug in that device and enable Bluetooth or just enable Bluetooth on your PC. I'll show you how to do that at least on Windows 10. What you can do is open up your Windows settings, navigate over to devices, and we are looking for Bluetooth and other devices. So you need to make sure that your Bluetooth is on and it is now discoverable with whatever PC you are using. Now at this point, you will need to take one of your Joy-Cons. We're just going to do this one at a time. You'll need to take one of your Joy-Cons and you're going to have to hold down the sync button while your computer has Bluetooth enabled. Now while your Joy-Con is trying to sync, you can click on add Bluetooth or other device, click on Bluetooth, and wait for this list to populate. As you can see, there should be a Joy-Con which will pop up. Mine is my left Joy-Con. So you can click on this and it should say your device is ready to go. So there we go. We can now exit out of this. Now with all that done, we can open up Joy-Con Toolkit yet again. And if everything is successful, you should see a little something like this. This is exactly what Joy-Con Toolkit looks like. From here, if you want to explore anything, you're more than welcome to, but the first thing we should do is back up our Joy-Con. Now, just to let you all know, this is going to take about 10 minutes per Joy-Con, so just plan accordingly there, and I would recommend doing this first. So what we can do is click on Backup SPI, and as you can see, it's going to take about 10 minutes. Don't disconnect your device. So you just want to leave this be. All right, and as you can see, we are almost done dumping this device. It will say done dumping SPI, and we can click on OK. If you look in the same folder as Joy-Con Toolkit, you're going to see SPI left or right, and then the serial number for that, uh, just in that bin file overall. You wanna make sure you keep that somewhere safe, just in case. So at this point here, let's go ahead and start tweaking this. We can click on body and buttons color, and we get this nice little setup and customization here. So for the body, I'm just gonna keep this simple. I'm going to change this to white retail, and let's see, for the buttons, we can 
can change this as well for my left one I have black buttons so actually I'm going to just keep those black and we can click on OK and that's about what I need to do here so we can click right colors don't forget to make a backup first you can also find the retail colors at the bottom are you sure you want to continue and say yes the colors were written to the device so if you were worried that would take another 10 minutes don't worry about that it's pretty instantaneous so we can do the exact same thing with the right Joy-Con now. Once you're done with these, by the way, I'd recommend just hitting disconnect. And now with this done, just to make sure I'm not mixing up anything, I am going to go to Joy-Con L, and I'm just going to remove this device. I'm going to choose to do this, so yes. And there we go. Now, just like before, I'm going to begin syncing my right Joy-Con. Add Bluetooth, Bluetooth, there we go. And we're all done. With your other Joy-Con set up, you just want to click on refresh. As you can see, this is our right Joy-Con. And I'm going to do the exact same thing here and back up SPI. All right, and the exact same thing here. I'll just press OK. For the body here, I'll go ahead and change that to white. And for the buttons, uh, we can do the exact same thing here. We're just going to do black on this. Unfortunately, I was hoping we could change individual buttons, but it doesn't look like we can do that. So I'll hit OK. That's how it's going to look. We can write colors, yes, and that's all good. So let's disconnect and bring it over to the switch. And just to double check this, we can now go down to the controllers. And as you can see, those are now showing up as white with black buttons or whatever colors you ended up choosing. So that's about it for this tutorial here. It's easy enough. It does not require having to open up your Joy-Con at all here, uh, unless you wanted to reshell them. In all honesty, that is why I'm doing this in the first place, just so I can tell which ones, at least software-wise, are my reshell Joy-Con. Anyways, again, that is about it for this tutorial. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Hopefully it helped out. And if it did and you enjoyed this, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine too. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.